Hi everyone, my name is Arman, CEO of Fitness de Gara, a family business company founded in 1957, dedicated to dye, wash and special effects on garments located in Barcelona, Spain. We have been dedicated to dyeing textile garments for 63 years and introducing new process in the world of dyeing and textile finishes. We have always maintained a chameleon image, adapting to the needs of the market and now our main motivation is to leave the planet cleaner than we've found it. Also, it's been quite a few years since we started working with the natural dyes and reducing water consumption and energy, we believe that is the moment when there is not longer a touring back and that is why we have created our new collection based on a series of premises. The collection is this. Reduce in water consumption. We are currently working with the bubble system one to one to upgrade and finish it achieving at 60% productive occupation in the machine. And we are, we are also working with the farm systems one to three achieving at 10% productive occupation of the machine. When the bubble system is not really effective or needs temperature, creating and modifying our own machines signs no one knows who's better than ourselves. Always starting from the base that we work with a lot of hoodie, polos and t-shirts. The market does not have the right machines to thread this type of garments without suffering damage to differentiate from the jeans. Minimize energy consumption with lowering batting ratio. We need less energy to time to perform process. We use only products listed as eco-friendly and sustainable regardless of where we need to import them or their cost. This will be an example. We do not use macro or micro silicones to soften. For many years we have always used lanolin, fat of origin of animal wool washing. The fabrics used for this capsule are either recycled fabrics or fabric with organic cotton, both manufactured by Tejido Royo Valencia from Spain. From there, I leave you with my son Nacho, who is the third generation in this company and who speaks English uh, better than me. We will show you some of the most significant process of this collection. I hope that in the next show, we can see ourselves physically and explain all the process in the time. There are 33 new processes and now I, it will be <coughs> Very boring. Thank you. Nacho. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, first, I'm going to explain the conventional dye process. This process are made for t-shirts, hoodies, and polos with fun that we have managed to reduce the RB to one, two, three. In such a way that we reduce the chemicals by thirty percent <coughs> energy consumption by 40% and the production times by 40%. So that we managed to reduce the discharge, energy consumption and increase the productivity behind more responsible with the environment. This is an example of the conventional dye. About the sulfur dyes, we only apply the RDT sulfur dyes. We are trying to develop the dyes process with the bubble system. Also, we are currently applying the vintage effects by enzymes with the bubble system. That this is an example. <clears throat> About natural dyes that we call health dyes, in this process we managed to dye a garment with one glass of water using a natural product without temperature. Vegetables, minerals, or both. First, we modern the garments in a bath with alumina sulfate. 
and without change in the bath, we proceed. <coughs> we proceed to apply the natural dyes, having a duration approximately that 40 minutes. Finally, we proceed to make the different rices and softener with lime olive. These garments are beneficial for the skin, as in the case of green with aloe vera, is based with a mauricin for skin, and the pastel blue is a insect repellent. The thing is that in these two cases, today we are not available to increase the solidity to light. Both green and blue being a solidity of two. Of opposite to the rest, we have achieved a solidity of five. That is, for example, a terracotta color. We are investigating how to apply this process in the plant system. Another that is interesting too is the iron wash that we call iron wash because it's a conventional dye plus sun wash. In this process, the dye is applied by foam, skipping the fixation step. Then, wash the garment without water, with the sun mixing with Cereox. Cereox is a natural oxidate or sustainable oxidate for the Montega company. This final process will give you a stone wash appearance on a garment. Also, you can do this process with a garment of very low, low, low weight without being holes. That this is the example of the iron wash. That you can see the stone wash effect. Another process is the reticrum dye. That this dye comes from Officina 39. Part of the idea of recycling the pieces of the tissue that are discarded, turning them into the powder to finally use as dye. Proceeded to oxidation and morbid set of a garment with a foam system. Once the modern is fixed, the dye are doing with the bubble system. In this case, you cannot get a dark colors, but apart from being recycled 100%, gets a very commercial effect. The first collection that we, that we made was for Gista. We wanted particularly thanking to Dennis, Lisette and Lauren for the support and collaboration in both knowledge and communication that we maintain those days is an example of a company to follow. The conventional dye plus Cerox, this dye we applied was, was with one system or bubbles, depend the final color which are you looking for. As we have explained it above, and then, without taking the garments out of the machine, we apply the Cerox, which is a sustain sustainable oxidate by bubble system. Finally, you get a vintage FX being sustainable. In this case, we did it with a polyamida that you can see or you can have a swimwear with a jeans effect, 100% polyamida. The other is an ice dye. The ice dye, you don't need energy and water consumption only ice. This dyes system start from the base that freeze the color solution with the water until it becomes ice. Once it, when it is achieved, it breaks the same into a box and it's applied on the top of the garments. As it melts, it takes on a watery color. On all of these primes mentioned above, we have managed to apply it on a denim and subsequently make a deep dye always applying the sustainable methods, producing the vintage effect without water and the deep dye with a bubble system. This is will be the example that you can see. Thank you all. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you again.